You know, I was on this plane once, and I'm sitting there, and, uh, Captain gets on, he does this whole, you know, we'll be cruising at 35,000 feet, but then he puts the mic down, he forgets to turn it off. Mm -hmm. And so he turns to the co-pilot, and he's like, you know, all I could use right now is a fucking blowjob and a cup of coffee. So the stewardess fucking goes bombing up from the back of the plane and tell him that the microphone's still on the sky in the back of the plane. He's like, hey, hon, don't forget the coffee. <laughs> you ever been on a plane? No, but it's a fucking joke. It works better if I tell it in the first person. Yeah, it does. I have been late, you know. Really? Good Big for time. you. Big time. Big time, huh? I went on a date last week. How'd it go? It was good. You going out again? I don't know. Why not? I haven't called it. Christ, you're an amateur. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, but this girl is like, you know, beautiful. She's smart. She's fun. It's different from most of the girls I've been with. So call her up, Romeo. Why, so I can realize she's not that smart, that she's fucking boring? You know, I mean, you don't... This girl's, like, fucking perfect right now. I don't want to ruin that. Maybe you're perfect right now. Maybe you don't want to ruin that. But I think that's a super philosophy, Will. That way you can go through your entire life without ever having to really know anybody. <laughs> My wife used to fart when she was nervous. She had all sorts of wonderful little <laughs> idiosyncrasies. You know, she used to fart in her sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry I shared that with you. Yeah, one night it was so loud it woke the dog up. <laughs> <laughs> she woke up and got like, oh, was that you? See, I didn't have the heart to tell her. <laughs> oh, God. She, she woke herself up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's been dead two years, and that's the shit I remember. <laughs> it's wonderful stuff, you know? Little things like that. Yeah, but those are the things I miss the most. The little idiosyncrasies that only I knew about. That's what made her my wife. Oh, and she had the goods on me, too. She knew all my little peccadillos. People call these things imperfections, but they're not. Oh, that's the good stuff. And then we get to choose who we let into our weird little worlds. You're not perfect, sport. And let me save you the suspense. This girl you met, she isn't perfect either. But the question is whether or not you're perfect for each other. That's the whole deal. That's what intimacy is all about. Now, you can know everything in the world, sport, but the only way you're finding out that one is by giving it a shot. You certainly won't learn from an old fucker like me. Even if I did know, I wouldn't tell a piss ant like you. <laughs> now, why not? You told me every other fucking thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If I can talk more than any shrink I ever seen in my life. I teach this shit. I didn't say I know how to do it. <laughs> yeah. You ever think about getting remarried? My wife's dead. Hence the word remarried. She's dead. Well, I think that's a super philosophy, Sean. I mean, that way you could actually go through the rest of your life without ever really knowing anybody. Time's up.